because it might be a very small thing that can be cured. So the earlier you go, the better your intervention for your treatment will be and the better your prognosis will be. That is, the better your recovery. The faster you recover, the way you manage your problems will uh, differ based on how fast you approach your consultant. Right? Uh, so the next one is face masking. Face masking is nothing bad. Uh, sometimes uh, you're angry, you're smiling, or you're happy, you want to express something, but still you will not have any expression on your face, uh, expressionless face to any emotion that you have. This is called a masked face. Right? And then tremors. Tremor is nothing but you hold an object in your hand or without an object in your hand, you tend to see a shiver or you tend to uh, drop the object because of the shiver. It might be of two things. One, you see the tremor and you are afraid you drop the object. Second thing, there is really a tremor, there is loss of grip or grasp due to which you are leaving the object down. So uh, this might happen in these two ways and how you address it again matters. So reaction time, somebody is calling you from a distance and you want, you are walking towards them and somebody calls you, your reaction to that person, your reaction to that person will slow down. As if I ask you a question, uh, what is your name? You just pause, you freeze, you think and for you to respond it will take time. So these are the main symptoms that you notice. What are the early signs? Let's see the early signs of Parkinson's. As I told, uh, tremor, uh, it's of two things. One, because of the confidence, you see the tremor, you are afraid you will leave the object. Two, really there is an issue in your grip, grasp and strength. That is why you are leaving the object. Two things. The next is ha change in handwriting. Most of you will be working or retired. Uh, you can, you daily have a habit of writing something down. So when you notice your handwriting, there will be a change. As, as in uh, the way you take your strokes or the way you do your uh, writing pattern, that changes. It might not make a big difference, but then the uh, intention of handwriting is to understand your normalcy in writing. Right? The uh, next is trouble moving as for somebody is calling you. You want to walk faster or you tend to walk slower, but now you are walking faster as if gravity is pulling you and you are not able to stop. When you are trying to stop, there is a uh, feeling of fall. You tend to fall down or you think you are losing your balance. That is when you are supposed to address it as quick as possible. Right? And then voice changes. Everybody knows your own tone. How you speak when you are angry, how you speak when you are happy or when you want to express something. You know your voices, you know your tones. But when you uh, notice the change in your voice, as in my voice, I am a loudspeaker, uh, somebody calls me a loudspeaker sometimes. So, but when I am trying to speak louder and I am not able to do that, and when I am seeing that change, that is when I address them, that is when I reach my consultant, that I have this issue, I want to address it. Immediately, go as early as possible, please go to your consultants and address the issues. Right? Stooping. Stooping or flexed posture is the most common thing in Parkinson's. As in stooping, I can tell most of, most of us have a habit of stooping while working, while doing things. That doesn't mean Parkinson's. Stooping is, comes into action where you want to stiffen your back, but you are not doing that because of the tightness that is caused by the disease. So what happens? Everything goes into flexion. Flexion is bending of your joints, of your uh, parts of the body. So example of that uh, way is nothing but you are towards the gravity, as in you are stooping forward, you are bending forward, rolling your shoulders and going stooping inside, your chest goes inside. That is the first thing. And when you are walking, you walk in the same way. Usually if I am a normal person, even if I am if stooping while working, I get back to normal and then walk. But here, it will, it will be a different story. I want to do it, but I cannot do it, so I go into stool. Right? And the same way with your activities, with your hands, with your legs, 
the faster you start your therapy or the exercise at home there is somebody who is watching you to prevent your falls and the fifth the final stage when you don't address it early or when you don't know that it is parkinson's and you delay the medication or you delay your consultation that that's where you go into wheelchair bound stage wheelchair bound stage you need a person there right next to you to assist you for 24/7 right the same it is being explained uh, you are able to do your day to day life activities in the first one second one you see tremors able to do things alone by yourself the fifth one walking and standing zero zero as in it's very 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 difficult with two people by your side you will be able to do things maybe but you will not be able to attend your day to day chores right so the best type of exercises for parkinson's patients uh, it might not be just parkinson's in general for your mobility for your activities to attend you need three things one is endurance the second one is strength to do something or an activity that you are doing the third one is an individualized program so uh, each one of you who are present here might have a different set of problems i cannot give them a generalized plan that you do this it will work for you no that doesn't work that way so i have to uh, check whether you are able to attend to your daily chores what is important to you how do you want it why do you want it and by when do you want it so these are the three questions that you have to answer to yourself and ask your therapist of how you want to achieve things it should not go this way or it should not go this way how do i control that that i will teach you to address that as early as possible so that it doesn't go into a joint contractures right increase your uh, confidence by attaining your goals attaining your goals give you a lot of confidence for you to do your activities on daily basis so and also uh, the people are surrounding you we are supposed to encourage you with the help of your surrounding caretakers or family members tell them this is the problem address the problem tell them this is how you will you are going to be this is how you are supposed to be treated or you are supposed to be addressed so when you uh, tell your problems we give you a solution and also we give you an alternative for the family members to attend to you in particularly they are called in council to the clinic they already come with something called the motor symptoms or the movement symptoms they are either slow or they are either tremulous they are either stiff or they have a problem with the balance so this is when they come to us but even at that, that point of time they have lost a lot of neurons so it's from there the journey starts and go i'm going to explain you about that in the next coming slide right thank you the excellent work you are doing uh, parkinsonism is one of those diseases which is present globally and uh, 50 more common now with almost about 67 cases per 100000 in india is the latest statistic that i just read it is not just a disease for a patient it takes away their ability to live their daily life in severe cases they are not even able to do things like put on their shirt buttons walk go for a walk go out to do some basic activities they may even need help to go to the toilet it is a chronic disease and it requires the highest level of expertise whether it is medical management assessment or something advanced like deep brain stimulation we have an extensive team of experts led by dr dinesh nayak Dr. Nigel, Dr. Satish, Dr. Praveen, Dr. Arul, and Dr. Praveen. All of them, including our latest youngster, Dr. Venkat, who has actually worked in neuro rehab and neuro immunology. So we have this extensive team which helps patients, as per their condition, to live their life in the best possible way. Since Parkinsonism is a chronic disorder, it requires the quality of life to be maintained to a patient. That is the most important, and that is what our team does. with a lot of expertise and passion on this occasion i would like to thank our chief guests for gracing the occasion and would like to appreciate the excellent work being done by our team thank you dr dinesh nayak dr nigel and your entire team and i'm sure this program will be a grand success thank you very warm welcome to all of you i start off by welcoming our chief guest mrs uh, sudha mayer when you know she started uh, the support group for parkinson's disease way back in 2014 with just six members
called Parivartan for Parkinson's disease. And now, they have more than 250 members. They meet every week. And uh, it's a huge <laughs> movement. And this is the right time for our patients to, you know, to get exposed to the kind of care that we cannot provide for our patients with Parkinson's disease. I think that's a wonderful service that you have done, ma'am. Thank you very much. It's a great honor and a privilege for us to have you here today. I uh, also welcome our uh, members of uh, the press, without which, you know, the activities that we do has to, you know, get dissipated among uh, the general public and uh, we play a very important role for this. So, thank you very much. Thank, I, I also uh, welcome our uh, uh, Dr. Alok Kular, our CEO, Madam Lakshmi Mishra, our medical director, and uh, Mr. Bhaskar Reddy and his team, uh, our marketing people. Uh, so, I think uh, this, without their help, it is impossible for us to uh, move on. Now, I would like to focus on the very important point of how teamwork is important from the point of view of how to provide a 360 degree coverage for our patients with Parkinson's disease and other movement disorders. Now, not many centers have this kind of extensive teamwork that we have and I'm proud to say that uh, this is a, a working model, a living model. We do it on a day-to-day -day basis, on an everyday basis. It is not an individual, but it's a team effort. And uh, I would like to name each one of our team members who help in this, uh, the comprehensive Parkinson's disease clinic that we are going to launch today on the occasion of the World Parkinson's Day, which is happening on, uh, which is falling on April 11th. Now, I would like to emphasize our team members. From the neurology side, we have Dr. Satish Kumar, Dr. Praveen Chandar, Dr. Venkat Raman, who's going to lead the Parkinson's disease clinic itself, and uh, Dr. Lakshmi Narayan, our uh, pediatric uh, neurologist and epileptologist. So all of us work together. Our neurosurgery uh, is headed by uh, Dr. Nigel Sims, Dr. Arold is there, Dr. Chamandeep is there. So they are a very active group. Neurocritical care, this is very important. So we all fall under one umbrella. Neurocritical care again by Dr. Ramanan, uh, Dr. Prasad, Dr. Mohana, Dr. Nitya. We all form a very important component of uh, the neurocritical care. And we all function together. Not just that, but uh, we need to have some very important, uh, you know, Parkinson's disease and the movement disorders. Uh, it affects not just the physical aspect, but also the mental aspect sometimes. And we need to have a good psychological and a psychiatric care. And Dr. Siddhika here provides that for us. And uh, then we have a very important, you just heard Bhumika talk about, you know, rehabilitation, physical therapy, occupational therapy, the importance of that. So we have uh, Bhumika, the physiotherapist, and a team. And then we have uh, Gauri, who's the occupational therapist, Vaishnavi, who's the neuropsychologist, and uh, Lakshmi Priya, who's the speech therapist. So now Parkinson's disease, you know, when we have to do some very advanced work on Parkinson's disease, we also need to have the setup. Now this setup is, you know, you need to have a very good, you know, neuroimaging service, you know, without which it is impossible for us to plan with great accuracy how to reach the target when we do the DBS, how to diagnose different... And it also is not possible without our uh, management led by Dr. Ralok and the marketing team to put up such an event of launching a comprehensive Parkinson's uh, disease clinic. And uh, it, it's, it's always a special event when it's uh, raised by the uh, press and the media people. Thank you all. So, much of my the representation which will show So much of my uh, talk has been uh, already introduced by the previous speakers, uh, both uh, the CEO and my head of the department. So it just makes it easy for me to reiterate the things which we uh, are about to see. So my talk, talk is about why we need a comprehensive care system. You know, 
when we see a Parkinson's disease person, it's not just the medicine and the effect. We need to just see him as a holistic, he's a human. He's not a person where we give the medicine, see the effect, it's not a system. He's a human and the human has a lot more demands than the medicine output. So, we, we need to, so just an introduction about the Parkinson's disease, some of which slides have already been covered by uh, Bhumika in her previous talk. You know that, uh, now this slide, why, what I'm going to modify and say is, when we see a Parkinson's person from outside, we see that the person will have a tremor, he may be slow, he may stoop, but that's not what he, that's not only what he undergoes. Not that that's something which we see, but so there are some things which may trouble him more than him or her, more than that. So they may be having problems with sleep, they may be hallucinating, they may be having problems with the bladder and bowel, their moods can be uh, changing, they will be having a balance issue, but that is going to be the major problem because these balance issues leads to fall and then leading on to other complications which would make him hospitalized and lose his confidence. So, who is going to take care of all these things? Is, is the medicine alone a cure for this? No, actually not. So this needs a lot of reassurance and the team working around them. So they should feel that they are under safe hands. They have to feel that they have been cared by not only one person, but a group of people who are going to take them forward in their lifetime. Now you see this, most of these Parkinson's people are, they are almost in their age of retirement or they are retired. So the rest of their life, they have run all their life, they have worked, they, they want a peaceful and a best quality to spend whatever savings they have and when this disease strikes, it's a horror. So we have to think them as a holistic person and that's where this comprehensive service is going to make a difference. Now, such a person enters a hospital, sees a neurologist, the neurologist has a task of doing certain things. Now, Parkinson's disease is a highly clinical diagnosis. There are many investigations in neurology to diagnose for other conditions, but Parkinson's is a call by the neurologist. You, you are branded Parkinson's, it's basically, basically based on his call. You may have a PET scan, but nothing comes close to the clinical decision. So you have to make a good call on the Parkinson's disease. More important is ruling out the mimickers. That is going to make a big change in explaining the road ahead for the Parkinson's disease. Now, what, what, are, what can you expect at three years from now? What can you expect at five years? How will the medications change your course? When will your medications start to play around with your disease? Everything can be decided just by this right diagnosis and ruling out the mimickers. And then the medication starts. And, and the med starting the medication is just the start point. You'll have to run a lifetime with them. You'll have to be with them throughout. You have to be ready to answer any amount of questions and take them through this process as long as they live. And then uh, with this, any clinic at that level, any clinic can do that. Now what, where comes the level of an institution is where you provide a comprehensive service. And then it only doesn't stop there you have to introduce them to self-help groups like Parivartan. That is because it's always, when you are diagnosed with a disease, you are all alone. You need people to talk to, share your thoughts, ask them how they are doing better. And most of the times, it's not only the patient who gives the idea. We learn from the Parkinson's people as to how they manage their symptoms. We propagate to the next uh, Parkinson's patient. We connect people and that is how the, the mental well-being also improves. But the take home or the, the important thing is achieve the quality of life. That's what we are doing. That's where we are heading to it. This is Mr. Bhaskaredi, Head of Marketing. Our Parkinson friends, Mr. Sampath, Mrs. Gaudi, Mrs. Ramabai, and Mr. Padam Chand, colleagues, friends, and the press. A very warm welcome to you all. I'm just going to talk a few words about deep brain stimulation, what I would like to call as a pacemaker for the brain, which is very similar to the pacemaker for the heart. So first let us have an idea as to why Parkinson's disease is such a problem and what is the burden of the disease. As you can see, there is an estimated 7 to 10 million people worldwide which are living with Parkinson's disease. And as our life expectancy increases, the incidence of Parkinson's disease also increases. 
And look at that, 4% of all the people with Parkinson's are diagnosed before the age of 50, so it affects the young also. Men are one and a half times more likely to have Parkinson's than women. And today more than 150,000 patients have benefited from deep brain stimulation worldwide. So what is deep brain stimulation? So it is basically two electrodes which are inserted into the brain. So two electrodes are inserted into the brain which are connected via two leads and this is connected to a battery in the upper part of the chest. So this is what it basically consists of. Now these two electrodes in the brain when they when the battery is on, it jams the abnormal signals in the brain, what we call as hijacking, and activates the failing system. So what are the benefits of deep brain stimulation? It improves the motor performance by more than 70% and it reduces the medication by up to 60% and thereby reduces the side effects from the medication. And overall it improves the quality of life. Now why is it such a problem? Because as we mentioned earlier, you see how much it costs from loss of work, treatment, social security, loss of income. It costs the United States nearly 25 billion per year alone. And as you see from this slide, as the life expectancy increases, When all of you are making the presentation today, for every point you are mentioning, constipation, slowness in walking, dyskinesia, I could only think of all the members of ours who are suffering from those symptoms, you know. So every symptom is personal, every story is very affecting for me and my coordinator who is here. So without taking much of a time, especially for the benefit of the press. So now Tamil le pesava, English le pesava, Tamil le pesava, best is it. Go the statistics na solve that. Just try to just keep this in your mind. Saying love. If a Parkinson's, if po, if the one day in the year, in the middle of the year, or April month, the one day or a paravar, a lot of Parkinson's. But the first time we came in the time la. Or eight years from now, or one week after that, but the first time. Now we want to know. I just want to read a newspaper. Group this time, but the Parkinson's. But the other day, I'm telling you. So the awareness has increased a lot these days. Thankfully, thank God. And what Global is doing with this comprehensive program is amazing. We need something like this. And in the mother, there is a table. One is all allocated for that. Kitta Tata, 95%, Ilati, 98% of people affected with Parkinson's. Mother and the party, and the war that Parkinson's and Epa Kelvi Padrangana, or a doctor, and the Ungul Parkinson's regular, Solerada, in the mother, or no irkine, or will carry over there. Pathing in now, Ulla K, Renda, the Peri and neurological disorder, either one thai, the Kukuru, and I the Pathi, or Kelvi Patadilla. 
So as press, it becomes very vital that you carry stories on Parkinson's very frequently. Sarila, renda or if you have members, you can see that the next person is a family affected with Parkinson's. Either a person affected directly or somebody in their family. If you have a person, you can see that the person is a female. If you have doctors, you can see that the person is a disorder. If you have a person, you can see that the so imagine a picture now. You have you don't know what this disorder is. You're already old, by side chair, wife go by side chair, Parkinson's. Now what do you do with a disorder like this? It's a very serious problem. So, one community awareness is not a community support. If you deal with it, you will be able to do it. Now, I am a coordinator. Some person is a person who 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 is a person. So, we know individual cases of what is happening in the family to be able to help them deal with the disorder. We had a talk with Mr. Sampal saying, should he do DPS before his son's wedding or after the son's wedding? You know, decisions like this become very important. We know the case. Kita kata, semua orang yang lekang kerana most frequently asked questions, apni nur list pota, itu na top of baru. Enak kaya Parkinson's mandi de. Enak lalai lifestyle habit sedut terkak. Na daily yoga pernah, na headstand pernah, ana marathon rana, enak kaya Parkinson's. There is no answer, unfortunately. It is either something we are eating or something we are consuming in the form of pesticides or chemicals, it affects us. So, if you don't know what it is, it's not a solution. If you don't know what it is, it's not a solution. It's not a solution. And they have to all deal with this. So, it's a very serious problem. If you don't want to talk about it, if you don't want to talk about it, if you don't want to talk about it, it's okay. Fine. There are a lot of things happening now around PV. Uh, there is more help coming. Either Minani or Uru Renta Varsha Minani and the global end of end the doctor to my refer Panadilla. But in the last year alone, we have referred many patients to global. So obviously, the quality of doctors, movement disorder specialist in Yarume in the Dilla Chenil. I in the Panglakla, but Roman and the Terenja KV Patti refer Panado Yaru in the Dilla or five six years Minadi. Ipa Konja Jasti Erka, Ipa quality of care, Roma Lala in the medical community. So without the medical fraternity, we as a support community can't do anything. When you request a request, who is the best neurologist in Chennai? There is really no answer to this because there is no one best neurologist. Like PD, neurologist also differs. Over the treatment, you can treat the treatment. But if you tell the neurologist, you can tell the neurologist. I think I am one of the earliest members in the Parivartan and she was responsible for my decision to go for DPS in the year 2019. She arranged for an interaction with the PT patient who was operated in elsewhere and also arranged for consultation with a neurologist from a different hospital. We used to attend monthly meetings conducted by Parivartan, in-person meetings. Only for the last two years due to pandemic, she is going for virtual meetings. Regarding quality of life, improvement in quality of life, I must say that DVS surgery has done uh, tremendous changes in my life. You saw me walking to the staircase, to the dais. For uh, before joining the uh, hospital in uh, October 2019, I was coming by wheelchair. 
Então é meio que o
Thank you so much, Dr. Naik, sir, for giving us this wonderful pride. Probably this is one of the country's pride, I would say, because I'm meant to see this kind of system wherein under one tree, providing these kind of complex services and not compromising the quality. That has to be reminded, please. Best of the best clinical outcomes, not at all compromising on quality, and always, of course, fighting with management for patients' rights, on a lighter note, that keeps happening every now and then. And this is the type of clinical, uh, the galaxy of clinical team what we have. We are very proud to have you and, of course, entire your team, sir. And another important thing, we do see very scary, traumatic situations, especially the ECR OMR is, is, is called as a trauma bay. And that's the area also Dr. Um, Dinesh Naik and Nigel team has not compromised, though it is not related to PD. But the neuro trauma, neuro rehabilitation, neuro critical care is one of the important aspects for a patient recuperation and recovery. And that's where that Ramanan plays a very critical role and hats up to clinical, uh, post-critical care team as well. And of course the main